Welcome back everyone to my Imperium campaign. If you would like to see more tomorrow, do not forget to leave a like down below. My plan right now is to build up a few little armies, that way we can get ready for a new war. There's a few enemies in my world that I would like to take down, Phrygia being one of them. I don't have to go after Phrygia, I know that, but I want to. I would love to see them destroyed. I need to find a good average supply limit to operate under. Oh, you're fairly developed over here on the Western Front, Aelia. Not bad. So maybe 20. Around 20 could be pretty decent. I'm worried about supply limit issues. If they have Scorched Earth or whatever policy to limit my supply limit, that could be really bad. And I would like to build roads. That way we can move quickly. Where am I going to build a road, though? Over here. Why not? Yeah, let's build a road right over here. There we go. You can come join me too. If I blockade that area, we're going to be able to keep their army over in Nidos. All right, Phrygia. Who do you have under your control? You've got Ionia, Nidos, Kizikos, and Sidon. Sidon, where are you? Oh, you're way over there. You're not really too important. I could easily cause issues for you, Phrygia. I bet they're going to hire a lot of mercenaries too. That's going to be a huge pain. So why don't I begin moving out my armies right now? It's time for everyone to come join me. There we go. I could hire mercenaries, sure. The big advantage you get with a mercenary army is that you don't have to spend any manpower, but I've got a lot of manpower, so who cares, really? All right. Who do we have over here? 2,000 men? Okay. Well, I want more. Three, four, five. And then I'll grab a few archers. And then a few light infantrymen. All right, that should do it. That's another big army. And then I'll probably build a few tiny armies. That way, whenever I'm fighting the big armies, I can let my tinier armies besiege locations that do not have a fort. If I could get a lot of oratory power, we can do a great job at many, many things. Okay, so currently they are building a road. What's happening over here? More money. I've got to integrate one power. If I do not integrate one power, that could be an issue. Aeolia, you probably won't join me in that war. I doubt you will. See, whenever I've got too many relations, everything will cost me a bit more. It has been costing me a bit more. I didn't realize how much of a liability that would be. Oh, thank you, Paeonia, for the money, by the way. More money over here. Later, I'm going to integrate, or actually, right now, I'm going to begin integrating Thessaly. Let them join me. There we go. No, I don't want you to move into my lands right now. I mean, I know you're fighting a war, but I don't really care that much. All right, come over here. I'll try to avoid hiring mercenaries for a time. Unless I really need to. I'll probably get one army. Maybe close to a border area. What now? Oh, good. You're no longer depressed, though you are very old. He's not going to be alive for much longer. Oh, my God. Another child. He's got another child. Mother of me. Olympics concluded. Not bad. Let's go look over here. I've got quite a few soldiers who will come join me now. I'm going to bring out my fleets to go transport them. Come on down. I'll probably divide up my fleets a little bit. They're way too large right now. So if I divide you up. There we go. That'll be sufficient. I'm going to keep one fleet up here. You can have a pretty decent commander. You're 47. You're not too old, right? Because, of course, I don't want you to be able to move. Not easily. Ionia. I wonder. You'll probably join in the war front, too. And I can build forts. Forts are going to be very important for this war. So let's go look over here real quick. And build a few important forts. It really depends. Let's see here. I want to cover a lot of land if I'm able to. If I hit over here, I can hit multiple areas close by. I like that. But I want to defend my capital, so we'll hit up here too. That's two. We'll hit another one over here. And over here. We'll destroy one of them later, but that should do it for the front lines, I believe. Where else would I want to defend? No, that could do it. I believe that might do it. I could build up a level two fort in a few locations, maybe. Too few people. Never mind. I can't do that over there. But 5,000 alone will be able to keep them from just kind of 
running into my lands willy-nilly. If I build one over here, that would stop many of them too. Put one there too. Again, that's my goal. To prevent them from just being able to go wherever they want to. If you look at my fortifications right now, I've got a lot of lands covered. But I could have many more. Alright, let that build up. All of you are uniting. My manpower is incredible and I would like to begin using it. I think Egypt is in big trouble, man. Egypt is not having a good time. Phrygia. I know that you have money. I know that you have manpower. And he died. That's really unfortunate. The head of the Kilistratid family. I'm going to give a new title for my Epistrategos. You're only seven. Huh. It's not too bad, though. And you're 16. Your martial skill is seven, and you're 16. You'll be in that position for a very long time. My mercenaries will be cheaper as a result. Another dead researcher. Again, my king is not going to be long for this world. Hippocrates. You're 48. Not too bad. We'll put you in. I'm at 80 civic power if I keep on getting more. Dear God, my armies will grow. Yeah, you might not be a bad mercenary party to hire. Well, what I'll do right now is make sure that I'm not paying too much for anything outside of my wages. I could lower my wages too. Oh, dear God. Now there is my money. Okay, second stratos. I'm going to have you come join us now. Let's go. You're going to move into a phalanx action. There we are. The Phrygian Revolt. I bet one day it'll unify. But for now, let's see what we have. I'm going to bring you over here. I want one army to stay here. The other army will... Actually, you two can wait here. I'm going to have a fleet blockade. We'll keep them under control. There we go. Okay. Now while we do that... You're not loyal. I really want to imprison you. I might do that whenever he tries a attack on me. I hope he does. He's very old. Not that old, though. Oh, died of a heart attack. Another researcher gone. Let's go get a new one. Okay, you're not of my people, but you're very talented. Dear God, it's a very high research speed. Dear God, says the religious guy over there. All right, Adrissia, no, you get nothing from me. But I need a lot of oratory power. The more claims I have, the better off I am. Let's go look at what we can pick up now. Tormenta. Board defense could go up. Call Omen cost. Aggressive expansion impact. I don't really care about that too much. Let's go take Fort Defense. I don't usually take that, and I would like to today. I could use more research later. It's very good, don't get me wrong. I mean, to be fair, I am very far ahead, so I suppose I'm okay. Fine. I'll leave it alone. Oh, thank you, Odrysia, for the money. I could use that for more forts. Almost time for another army. 162 attrition, right? Let's get you guys over here. You're going to move right over here for now. We'll go take over Ionia. I'm going to need more armies over for this frontline war. I'll probably hire that 14k, that 21k. That'll give me more armies too. I'm going to want armies all over to help me out. There's 19k close by. Let's go pick them up after that army has disembarked. What I could, though, uh, do instead, I could just begin to break up the many nations that are contained within Phrygia. If I did that, I wouldn't gain as much aggressive expansion penalties. Hey man, those add up. People dislike you heavily whenever it's very high. So if I did that, I would have to be ready for more wars potentially to pop up. Here you go, more religious power for me and more loyalty. All right, there's more soldiers, let's go. Let's bring them down, right into that port. That'll be an easier way to disembark. There we go. Okay, let's go pick up more. Right over here. I know that Phrygia has many islands close by, but I'm not too worried about them. I can get them whenever. They won't be hard to take. What I want right now are lands over in Asia Minor. You're allied to Phrygia. Interesting. If you're allied to Phrygia, your power is comparable. You've got 12 cohorts. You don't have a lot of money. What about you? What do you have? 14 cohorts right now. But you do have a lot of money. I could support rebels. You know what? I think I will do that. Let's do that right now. 
I'll make you my rival, by the way. There. I hate you a lot, by the way. Oh my god, my health is very low. He's a lunatic. He's gonna die very soon. We don't have long left for him. I have another child. Let's see here. Come join me now. 21,000 men. There we go. I'll probably divide up my navy later, but let's bring them over here. Oops, my bad. Let's bring them right over here. You can move away. I'm going to move you where? Let's see. Over to the east. Go defend over there for now. They're very talented. I need to make sure I have only talented commanders up. If I keep on ensuring their loyalty, I keep on paying everyone more, we'll be okay. My forts have got to be built up. It's a great way for me to prep up for a new war. All right, now about those roads. I wonder, what if I were to build roads here? Or, yeah, just move all around. How far can you move around? Ooh, right through their lands, don't do that. Yeah, build roads for me. I wonder if there's any indication that there are roads. I'll have to find out. Oh, he finally died. Now we have a new king who's 51. He's got a lot of finesse. He died at 75. Not bad at all. A new governor is needed over here. You're fairly loyal. I'm going to take you, young man. You're more loyal than the rest of them. I like that. I think I'm going to make a new army again. I'm gaining 789 manpower. But I could use another army or two. But don't worry, I'll hire those mercenaries later. We'll take Nidos first. That's what I'll do. All right. I doubt they'll come back home to fight me. Grace, I need you to like me, though. Yeah, I need you to not attack me. They would even make a great ally, I've got to say. If I don't bother them, they won't bother me. Masapio, you're a great ally. Carthage, you're in trouble. Egypt, you're really in trouble. Okay, time to divide up my fleet. Let's go get my other fleet. Who needs a leader? I'll take... Let's see who... You're 28. You're fairly young. Let's bring you way down over here. I've got some locations to blockade. Oh, we're going to do some serious damage by doing that. Egypt has a huge fleet. Dear God, do they ever. Okay, 19,000 men. Let's go see what I can do now. I'm going to build up some roads. Way over here. Let's go. Well, let's go build over here first. Yep, they're building roads right now. Army maintenance goes up. Army movement with without roads is quite minimal. So if I... Oh, yeah, there, there. There's a little thing over there. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's build up more roads. If I build them everywhere, sure, my enemies can use them too, but we can all move so quickly. And I love that. That idea to me appeals to me heavily. So let's move over here now. I want you to build roads too. Let's build them over here. Just wherever you can. I wonder if they bypass a location that already has roads. Maybe so. But it's a great way for me to expedite travel wherever I can. Okay, so we need more stuff now. Fort defense could go up by a further 5%. Let's do that again. I'm trying to use forts now. If I imprison you, my stability goes down. I'll get rid of your reputation, though. I wonder, do I have any children who are of age? Let's find out. Well, let's go to my family first. That's more important. Let's see here. You are 17. I can't seem to control you. That's your father, right? Can't do much with you then. You're 21. Okay, you're married. Good, good, good. You're 15, so you'll be of age eventually. Veterans move on to every cloud. So now we get 2,000 manpower. Local taxation over in that region until end of game. Very nice. All right, so we're just going to build roads. We're preparing for a massive war. One that I want to win so very badly. I'm going to need a lot of claims. I'm keeping a few interior forts because, again, it's going to be a very long, long war. Okay, I'm going to take a fort over here. I want more growth, sure, but... Look at my money just shoot up still. It's incredible. Oh, hold on. Did I choose a granary? <laughs> my bad. 
That'll work out, man. Look at these roads. These roads are going to help me travel wherever I want to. Having them travel from fort to fort would be an interesting premise as well. Is it like one location at a time? I suppose it is. So that's a lot of work. But let's begin to do that. Yeah. I'm going to bring out all my armies, I think. You're over here. You're working. You're down here. Oh, you're all together. Right, right, right. Let's just move you here for right now. Just do something. I'm going to start working on my roads, though. I'm going to expedite that travel. Alright, you can't be moving. That's fine. Alright, let's build up your roads. It's one at a time. That's all I can do. I was kind of hoping that it would just kind of build it as they went along, but now I know. That's okay, though. As long as we can kind of move fairly quickly, right? Alright, 21k right here. Let's begin to move more. Takes a lot of movement. Sure. Thank you for the money, Thracia. Appreciate you. Okay, let's go build some granaries back at home. And over here, a marketplace for Athens. I know they have a lot of citizens and I want to utilize them. Look at my poor armies. They're like, man, we gotta keep on doing this stuff. More discipline. Take that. Sure. You're all very loyal to me. I feel like it'll be fine. You don't get access for me. Thank you for the money, but you don't get access for me. Alright, so I'm gonna bring you over here. Ionia may join in the future, so we'll take care of that now. You'll stay over here where they have their friends. Alright, manpower is going down a little bit due to attrition. They're overlapping at a few locations. That's really good to know. I'll have to be careful with that. Okay, let's go to build some more roads. Everyone's just building roads wherever they can. I mean, even if that speeds up my movement briefly, that's fine. I'll take it. Move it over here. Nidus has 18,000 men, so I'm going to take them out. I would love to go after Ionia quickly. That would be nice, too. I could use another fleet. How big is my fleet right now? Fairly large. I could get a bigger fleet, though. Let's see here. I don't really want to do that. I want to come over here and put up a new fleet. One, two, three, four, five. Ten should do. Alright, a new invention. Siege Engineers, Tormenta. All manner of siege engines fit into the category of Tormenta, often firing kinetic or incendiary projectiles intended to cause devastation and panic. Nice. I could lower my Navy maintenance costs too later if I manage to get there in time. That really isn't too bad. Let's put a few more roads into other capital locations. Yeah, these roads are just everywhere right now. It's going to be in locations where they're really going to help me out. So let's build them over here. You're building more too. I invested a lot of money back into my lands. Wages will eventually go back up. I've got plenty of cohorts. I could have like a 20,000 army in each one, but I feel like that would be way too much. Supply limits would go down eventually. You know what? I'll let you travel through my lands only for now. Only for now. No, I just want to have a fleet that's blockading several locations where they can't move any of their soldiers via ship. Because, again, I mean, Phrygia is still a great power. They're still going to be annoying. Or I wouldn't be worried about them. Trust me, I would not be worried if I didn't think that they would be a threat. I'm going to blockade that port. I want Cyprus. I actually kind of want Cyprus more than any other location. Yeah, you guys are in a civil war, but I know what you're going to do. I could offer you a guarantee. Your allies have several allies right now. Interesting. 
can't get you to do anything for me. I could offer a guarantee. I feel like that war will end, though, eventually. I don't trust them. I feel like together they'll unite against me, so I'm going to be careful with that and watch out. Let's go meet up ships. Got all my little navies all around the map. They don't all need to be bulked up in one location. Got are forts all along the borders. It'll help me take more lands, too, by the way. Got three down here. I just know they have a lot of stuff over there. So my goal is to go after a few locations before we head straight into them. Manpower is still going up, 8 of 7 per month. Let's see now. I'll take that. Whatever money I can get, I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, we have more ships on the way. Let's go bring them down. Right up here. Bitter feud. What now? You two can calm down. Let them fight, I suppose. He's not my direct heir. All right, back to ages again for the ruler's family. You are 19. Right, I can't do anything for you. Your dad's an a-hole. Arranged marriage for you, though. All right, he's only 22. We want to make sure that we have more powerful Spartan family members. Oh, my ships are getting together. 39 for Egypt. Dear God, I could beat Egypt, but I would have to track them down. Okay, I'm going to stop using up all my stuff soon. But for now... Let's build another road over here. I want to build one over here. And I want to build one over here. That's a very annoying location, so I just want to build it over there real quick. A new omen. Okay, let's go take discipline for right now. Because I'm going to need that for the war. My national unrest is currently minus two. A new invention. That's all for my ships, man. I'm paying how much for my fleet? Not really a lot. Not a lot at all. I could even build more if I wanted to. Alright, let's go take... My citizens are fairly happy. That's the tribesmen. National commerce income. We'll take instead that output again. Help them further. More commerce for me. Alright, what about my fleet? My fleet has 10 ships total. Not as large as I usually have it, but... We'll take... Okay, yeah, sure. He'll be my new admiral. Dear Kingo. Alright, come over here. And blockade another location. Okay, we just want to limit them. Where they have ports. I'll try to play defensively on the eastern front. If I'm able to. That's why I want roads connecting everything. That way my forts can just connect to each other. Do some serious good. More omen power. Very nice. Let's move down over here. Hold on. Let's move over here first. Alright, then I want you to see. Look, that was so quick. Now they're going to build a road down there. Or connecting to it. Alright, then build a road over here. I just want to make sure my front lines can just all connect together. Mostly, anyway. I'm using a lot of points for that. Probably too much, but... That's what I'm doing right now. Civil War ends. Okay, the Civil War is finally over. He's been crucified. Yeah, I had a feeling that would end eventually. Even if I joined in or not. But that war is over. What now? Oh, she's beginning to spread rumors about... Okay. You're my rival. I have to lose popularity. Or gain some tyranny. I'll gain some tyranny. Oh, if only I could have you go fight. That would be amazing. I'm going to banish you. Bye. Get out of my lands. You're annoying. Decisions are over here. I can't really do much with that right now. Alright. My armies are cheaper. Very nice. Discipline is much higher. What can I get for oratory? I'll have to wait. I'll wait and see what I want for that. Oh, I know you're not loyal. You wait until you try something. I'm going to imprison you. Alright, let's see here. I'm going to move you over to my other fort. Let's move you down here real quick. I'm going to move you over here. 
Yeah, they move so quickly now. Thank you, Rhodes. And the Rhodes will always come in handy, in my view. There are just so many points. Really too many points for me to use if I want to get some military tech. All right, you're 28. You're very talented. You've got a lot of finesse. You're my child, or wait, no, 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 you're not. You are, there we go. I'll let you go in. You'll be happy about it. You'll be my doctor. He's loyal, right? He's fairly loyal. Well, I could give them a gift. I'm gonna be for my own child. Nope, they'll just love me. Oh, really? You're doing this to me? Come on, man. I'll befriend you. All right, a new child. Let's get a new child. Old games. Let's raise up our popularity again. Drone spouse right now. All right, so we're blockading two locations. If I divide it up further, these guys can come over here. They have Cypress now and a lot of mercenaries. All right, I'll lose some of my oratory power for that. You're 16 and fairly talented too. I'm gonna go ahead and make you a pretty decent general later. Some people that I know are getting fairly old, so. Might even need to begin to work on new generals for the new war if they're too old. Okay, you're 41, you're not too old. What about you? You are 46 and you 26, so I've got a lot of young leaders. 34, 65, so you're very old. I'm gonna go ahead and hire you. You're not nearly as talented, but again, just need to be mindful. I've got a lot of connective roads. Let's bring you down over here. You're going to help me out. All right, you're at 16K. I was going to build up a road somewhere. Oh, right, right, right over here. I don't want you to come over here. No, you'll wait there for now. We're largely good. Shame of a governor. Pay it out, man. Pay it out. Don't be a pain. We've got large armies. I've got some roads. Oh, yeah, hold the games. Other nations will like me a lot. Thessaly is nearly at a point where I can begin to integrate them. I'll lose my civic power. No, I'm kidding. Well, I guess I'll do it just to try to befriend him. I want him to not, you know, try to support someone else who's an a-hole. They try and attempt on me. I'm just going to start killing every one of my sensors. Here's some money. 250 gold. That should work, I hope. You get nothing for me. All right, what are you missing? You've got 5,000 heavy infantry. I feel like you need a few more. Let me grab you. One, two, three. 3,000 more. What do you have? 7,000 for heavy. Okay, not bad. I'll put you over here for now. That's going to help you defend. You'll come over here. You two will help take, uh, take out Nidos. And then we'll, we'll probably move one of you. I'll need maybe two armies of mercenaries. My money is going up. I'll have plenty of money. My manpower is at 180k. Alright, now we're friends. Actually, we could just have another army if I wanted to. Fair enough. Make them all from Sparta for the hell of it. And then some archers. That way we just have another army. I just want to make sure I have armies everywhere. I just need them everywhere. Olympics concluded. Dion Dardanid of Peonia, first time winner. Okay, let's see. Tribute income. National manpower up by 5% again. Got way too much already. Let's go take army recovery or morale recovery. Instituting a series of decorations for valorous conduct in battle is a valuable tool for keeping order and giving soldiers something to fight for. The uh, Hastapura or Silver Spear was initially awarded to Roman soldiers on the occasion of their first kill. Very nice. That's why my armies are going to win. Oh, Thrace, you've got a pretty big fleet. So all of you will come join up. I'm going to bring up you three over here. Eastern border will have plenty of enemies for me to worry about. 
I don't want you to have 2,000 more. I'm going to give you light infantry and archers, I think. So, archers and... Where are they? Here they are. Light infantry. That's another 2,000. What's your fleet like? Let's see. They're fighting a Galatian revolt. 17 ships total. They've got a huge... Freaking... Oh, yeah. They've got a lot going on. Okay. What if I were to try to kill you? Who's the younger one? 59. She's fairly loyal. Very loyal. 82%. 90%. 92. So it's really her. Let's go. If I kill their leader, then I go after them. It's a great way to begin a new war. Lower stability and all that. Alright. Group up everyone. The new leader is going to be... You, young man, you're very talented. Put a point over into bottleneck. Actually, skirmish you for now. I, well, we're going to have more heavy infantry. Just give it time. I just want them to be Spartans for fun. The benefits of power. Unfortunately, I'm going to do that. Even though my tyranny just went up. If I can befriend her, it can cause some issues. Moderate. So these are all moderate. Good to know. I'll take the religious power for now. That's what I have a lot more of. I'll start to use that. Nope, you can't have that. Alright. More commerce income. Monthly wages goes down from my characters. Yeah, I should be able to easily beat them. I think one army could even do it. 21k should be able to do it. I'm gonna bring up another army close by. Let's bring them over here. I've got 19 uh, K close by. I've got roads that can connect me pretty fast. I'm going to build one more set of roads that will lead right down over here. That way we can move from fort to fort quickly if we need support. I don't usually prepare that much for a big war. I just kind of go in. But I thought today I would put in a little bit more effort. Okay. I need to be able to afford. Yeah. If I can kill him, that would be amazing. In flagrante delicto. Over here, died of a heart attack. That's your father. Gary's heart. Gary's heartied. <laughs> what a name. What now? All right, all right, all right. How do you feel about me, man? All right, we're at 22. Very nice. I can begin to integrate you. Where's it at? Influence? Shoot. We need 190. Okay, so we're not quite there yet. Gotcha. I understand. Let's see, who would ally me? Who really hates Phrygia? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Alliance, you're fighting Parnia right now. Interesting. Where's Parnia at? Parnia? Oh, wow. You're way over there. Okay, that's interesting. Cappadocians would be an okay alliance, I think. Ah, I see. You're guaranteed by Phrygia, so you won't join me. What about Egypt is pretty messed up. I don't really want to do much with them. Most factions close by are pretty messed up. What about you? Oh, you don't like them at all. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, if I could get you to join that war. But I can only guarantee you. I'm going to guarantee you for right now. I'm back to too many, though. Shoot. All right. Mesopia... You're way over here. We've got a pretty big fleet, surprisingly. I'm gonna revoke that for now. I just don't want to deal with that. Maybe if I do that, they won't actually give them permission to move through their lands. If they don't do that, that helps me out further. Alright. That's all I can do for you right now. Alright, then I'm going to give you a gift. Then I'm probably going to do some other stuff for you. Oh, you had like no money, so that was a good call. Marshall advances, advance. Very nice. So now we're tougher. We're tougher than we were before. All right, I have 15k soldiers here now. We're still recruiting more. How many more? Two more. Okay. 
Yeah, take that. The fleets are pretty good. I'm gonna hire these mercenaries soon. They're building a training camp. They have a few forts too close by. A bit of his tongue. Oh no. I could imprison him. He's the head of a family. We'll not move against him. I think we can endure that. I hope we can. I don't know if we can. We're going to find out. Anyway, you guys can group up. We built up the roads. Let's go ahead and group everyone up. I'm going to... Oh, oh, oh. There we go. I want all of you to move back. And look at that movement. Very quick. Heck yeah. That's what I wanted. That'll do it, man. That'll freaking do it. Let's make sure everyone has their most efficient formation right now. Phalanx for you. Phalanx as well. I'm going to give you bottleneck to change it up a little. And Phalanx for you. Probably too much of that one formation type, but... Anyway, let's go pick up these guys. 16k total. Well, I'm going to have two more that I need. Okay. Let's go grab more ships. Yeah, that's what we'll do. That'll be five more. I'm gonna go put that in my king's fleet anyway. The Basilius will be a admiral of great valor. I hope. <laughs> I hope. So the war has been just put on hold for a very long time. Siege ability would go up. Ooh, army movement speed up by 10%. Heck yeah. Of course we're taking that. Oh, heck yeah. Let them move faster than any other army. My 2400, I'm still waiting for that income to shoot up a little bit more. A little bit more. That's all we need. All right, you're at 18K. Those ships are not ready. Let's go bring them over here. Or you can just move over here. You'll move over here. Oh, you come over here. Let's go. Let's see. Reorganization. Ah, I see. So, do that. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, let's get out of here. We'll move out. Look, I get these five out. All five. <laughs> there we go. All right, come join me. And then I want all of you to land over here. Yeah, land over here. 13 of you, you'll do your own thing for now. Oh, I've waited so long for this war. So freaking long. The mercenaries are just meant to be there so I don't spend more manpower. It doesn't matter. It doesn't actually matter. I could actually just keep on spending manpower, I guess. I'm just being too cheap. Because the mercenaries just cost more, so. Fine. All right, we'll take that. We'll take five archers. And then some light infantry. All right, that'll do it. Then I'm gonna bring my fleet back. Go pick them up. Who died? Oh, he died from overwork. Good. Everyone in my country should die from. No, that's awful. All right. Philosophos, Leonid, you shall take that role. Now we wait again. I'm just building more and more armies because I have a freaking crap ton of money. I'm worried about all of the uh, generals, but let's see how that plays out later. All right, my armies are together. Let's bring them down. And I'll probably still hire those mercenaries. Actually, that reason will still be because I want to deny them mercenaries or I'll have to fight that army. So if I don't hire them, someone else will. Eh. Your regional power, go ahead. I'll have to build some roads over here later. I just need more military power. All right, 20,000 men. I'm going to hire... Most of you are pretty bad at what you do. Roll and Brave. You're very good at besieging, but I'm going to take you for now. Because you're the best. You're the best leader I have, which is a shame because you're very old. We'll take Bottleneck for now. Let's go out with our 20,000 men. Untiring. Oh, good. One stability. Hooray! We're now more stable, which is good because he's old, so he's not going to be here forever. Okay, 18k men. Where am I going to send you out? 
I'm gonna send you out. It really depends. Hold on. Got three armies over here. I'll be fighting on two fronts. Move you over here real quick. With my very quick roads. Heck yeah. Look at how quickly they move. It's amazing. Alright. Let's see. National Manpower. Omen Power. Or Siege Ability. I just want to build a truck through them. It's another 20k that I have. That we'll send out over here. I hope that's sufficient. We're going to find out very soon if it is or is not. Alright, I want you to take 13. Or actually, let's see. I'm going to go take the 8 ships you have and bring them over here. 17 ships? Oh my god, wait. Their fleet grew. Crap. Okay. Let's unite it because I'm going to have to go kill them. I don't know where they're going. Where are you going anyway, Phrygia? Right, you're fighting Arnia. Can you sell over there? No. That would be funny though if you could. Are they just chilling here? Because if they are, I'll beat... If I beat that entire fleet. A lot of ships gone. I'm over here for now. There's eight of you over here. I'm gonna bring all of you together. We're just gonna try to settle things pretty soon. Let's um begin to get ready now. It's almost time. We have 13 over here. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep them together, I think, for now. I think that's what we're gonna do for a little bit. Let's bring them out together. Six of you total. That fleet's waiting right by me. We'll bring in two fleets right there. I'm gonna keep my one fleet over here to keep Nitos kind of locked in. And it's time. Let's go hire these mercenaries. 21k. They're actually fairly cheap. I wanted to try to assassinate their leader, but forget about it. Let's just get these guys in. We're going to also hire 14k over here. All right, so you're going to come down. Can't go that way, can you? No, you cannot. All right, well then come over here. I guess you will have to move through. Fine, 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 fine. Fine. Take the bottleneck. You'll take the bottleneck as well. All right, that should do it. That should be what I need for this war. And then we begin to pay people. Yeah, that's what, what I have to do. Go over to my economy. So I lose some money for now. Unless I just raise up my taxes and everything else. We wait for leadership to go back up. A new child has been born. Oh, wow, really? Another child. Man, you had a child pretty late. Fascinating. So these are my mini cohorts, and we're going to take out this freaking... Oh, yeah, we're going to take him out. It's going to be awesome. All of you combined, 34 ships total. I'll divide it up later. So we spent all that time preparing for the biggest war that we're gonna have for a while, I think. Manpower is still obscenely high right now. We can change up that nobility admission law for fun. National tax goes up for a while. Yeah, 563, national tax up by 10%. That's fantastic. Thank you. All right, let's just move. Export of marble. Oh, nice. That does help out a little bit, doesn't it? All right, you have too many here. Let's bring you over. I'll bring you over here, actually. Ooh. That war front might be pretty rough for that an army of that size. So actually, what I'm going to do... I'm going to have this 14k come over to support on the eastern front. This 21k will come join me. Still too much. I'll have to take a little bit of attrition. His army is very large. But now they can't hire those two mercenaries. I, they probably have other mercenaries out there somewhere. But at least it'll be a little bit harder for them to hire those who are just right by us. Okay, I think we're largely good to go. A new invention, very nice. It's for my ships, I'll take that. Professional soldiers. Relying on career sailors, we can be assured that our navies will be crewed by the very best. Satoria for later. 
Yeah, there's a lot that I can take. I don't have heavy anything really. Okay, so your ships are gonna be blockaded. Completely blockaded. Fantastic. Alright everyone, it's time. I would like to take Nidos. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get a claim over here. That belongs to me. I want to claim on... Oh dear god, there's some really good provinces around here. Hold on. You're over there. Lydia would be fantastic. You're over here too. Hmm. So Lydia, huh? Province of Phrygia. Let me keep on looking real quick. I could just get claims over on Phrygia. But I do need one claim over here as well. So let's see. Lydia. Can I go see what that's like? The province of Lydia. Oh, okay, okay. It was t taking me to like a different part. I was wondering because I know they have a very a very wealthy part over here. So I'm definitely going to take Lydia. Lydia's mine. That's really what I want. We've got two claims going now. I think it's time now for a very major war. Got all these soldiers on various front lines. Okay. Go to Nidos first, and that's how we're going to draw them into the mini wars. I was hoping to get that fleet and everyone else, but let's go see who Phrygia is fighting. Only Parnia. I think their armies might be far away. They're guaranteeing many nations right now. Egypt is falling apart. Oh my god. Judea is back. Hey, Judea. They have a lot. Oh my god, you've got a lot of money. Nice. I support you, Mara. Mara Nuri. She's 20. Oh my god, look at that. Blimia is just taking over over here. Who the hell is Blimia? Very minor power. It's doing well, evidently. Alright. So you guys have 40 cohorts right now. And a lot of money. Ugh. I haven't tried to kill you yet. I feel like I should. What's your air like? Not nearly as good. Interesting. No spouse, no children. If I kill your heir, that'd be even better. Who's your next heir? A little baby. I'd like to kill him. He must die. I'm gonna lose some manpower for that. I'll try to kill him during the war. Okay, everyone, I hope you're about ready. Let's get ready. If I do this, Phrygia will join in. They're going to bring in friends. i got to tear up my military access now. Cancel. Wait again until December. Thinking ahead. We lose some oratory power, but again, we need to make sure that plot works. If I kill the heir. Oh, man, could you imagine? That old man. Quick stabbing. I love stabbing them, so we're going to do that. Phrygia is the war leader. We go down to two speed. We move into battle, and we're going to move as quickly as we can into various provinces. We're going to come over here real quick. We're going to come over here real quick, and you're going to move over here real quick as the rest of us continue to just move in right now. The eastern front, we're just going to hold on for right now. So I'm trying to take out Aeolia for the time being. Not to mention, I've got all these forts nearby, so I'm going to be able to take a lot of stuff. What now? Oh, they tried to move their... Haha, <laughs> adorable. They can't do that. You can't do that. Let's see, who do we have? Kizikos, Aeolia, Nidos, and Phrygia. They have a lot of men, don't get me wrong. It's going to be a tough fight, but I'm going to head in now. I wish I could call these guys into the war. I mean, they would make a great friend. We've already beaten their fleet. If only you would fight them too, because, I mean, you've got the chance. That fleet is done for. We're so much better than they are. My positioning is better, too. Yep, they're out. They lost one. Our side might win. Oh, they better win. Mother of God, they better win. We did it. Okay. So now, the heir is dead. And he was a general of one of their armies, too. Goodbye. 
Goodbye now. <laughs> Your father is so old. 68 years old. And no male child. I might even try to kill that kid later. You ugly. You ugly kid. Anyway, let's come over here now. Let's find out how the battle will go. Please win. Let's see here. They have no heavy infantry at all. The terrain is to their benefit. I see. The losses are pretty equivalent right now. Alright, so we're taking out those two locations. Again, I'm going to pause a lot. Wait. Aeolia. Oh, the other Aeolia. <laughs> I thought it would be you. Well, that works out very nicely for me. That's really, really funny. I can just move Roughshod all into their lands right now. Oh, this is going to be even easier then. All right, you come over here with your 21K. You'll start to move into. The 19K will move over here. No, 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 actually, let's leave it alone. That works out, though. That actually works out. I can just begin to take them as well. Let's go after various lands. Just all their lands that we can take. We'll go take their ports. I love that their little fleet is trying to leave. They're just kind of stuck there. We're winning this major fight. Nidus is falling apart. Oh, they have a lot of discipline as well. All right. Took one admiral away. I don't know where that army's going, but I'm taking Nidus now. Got all these soldiers over to the eastern front. I've beaten their fleet completely. I've lost no ships. They've lost eight ships so far. The war is going my way. I planned it out very carefully. And I'm okay with all the forts I have. I really am. It's completely fine. Wow, they lost eight. We didn't capture any, but they lost eight ships total. That's gonna feel really bad. Old man, please die. I've been waiting for you. Yeah, I just saw Aeolia, and I keep forgetting there's two of them. That's so funny to me. But now we get to kill them too. All right, let's see. Coming over here, you're going up. You're coming over here to go take that port. I'll let you move up now to go blockade their ports. Then we'll use you whenever I go after their capital. Let's see here. Wait, you are guaranteed by Phrygia. Okay, but you didn't join in. Gotcha. Huh. Yeah, they don't want to join in. I'll take it. I don't mind that at all. We're about to win another naval battle. So we've already won several battles now. That's got to blow. All right, so their warfront is extremely limited. I'm going to focus on taking everything that I can over here. We're going to get a lot of... Uh... Oh, they lost seven ships. Wow. We captured him. But I haven't fought Galatia yet. So I just wanted to go kill them. All of them. We're at three speed right now, which is sufficient. Vampire's going down a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, they have 24K though, wow. So I can't go get that. I'm gonna bring up this large army of 19K right behind them. Or over here instead. They're moving, I'm gonna have to carefully get up there. They have 24,000 men, that's a lot. All right, we've taken a lot as well. Got too much, I think. Yeah, we're way too far ahead with all my heavy infantry, I believe. That extra weight is getting us. I still have to find like, the proper format to not lose so many. Research points up by 5%. Let's see. Oh, they're moving up north, it seems like. Well, I'm going to take Nidus very soon, so don't worry about that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Thrace has joined in. You're kidding me. I didn't think Thrace would join in. Now, that's a huge issue. They have 55 cohorts, and now our battle is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to hire more mercenaries. When I'm able to. Oh, I, I lack the military power, right. I didn't think Thrace would join in, though. That's actually super bad for me. Oh, yeah. Thrace, I know you're fighting a lot of factions, though, right now. So we'll try to keep the war brief. 
because we've already taken a lot. I'm already just destroying them. I'm going to have to take what I can over here. I'm going to have to move through the race from the eastern end. Got forts all along that line, so that's really good too. Need us. We won't have to worry about you much longer. I can begin to move some armies back, I suppose. That's another option. I want to make sure that we're supported over here, so let's go grab my bigger fleet. I'm going to have to go take in some soldiers back home, I think. At least a few. Got the army for it. It's 18k. It's Leros. We need a ship. Oh, I need to be able to move through Egypt. Or a ship to be able to get to Leros. I'm going to let you three go handle some stuff up here for now. Let's go. Keep on moving. Thank you. I'm probably going to move two armies back up north to go guard my passes. I've got some passes up north that I can guard easily. I know that I can integrate Thessaly, but I'm going to let them stay for now. They're helping me out just a little bit. Now they have a lot more men on their side. 58k. I've got 70k when it comes to all my cohorts, but we're a little bit spread out. Oh, they have a huge... Okay, shoot. Hold on, hold on. I've got to move my fleet. They've got a huge fleet right over here, so let's go bring in my fleet as quickly as we can bring them. Come on. Full retreat? I think not. I can order a full retreat up north, but let's see if I can make it there in time. Yep, look at that. I'm coming. There we go. We got them. Their fleet's going to be done for now. Screw you. Give me that money. Alright, let's come over here now. And over here. Just going to beat their armies for a little while. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Little friend. Let's move. Goodbye, enemy fleet. How many are they going to lose? They lost one. Where are they fleeing to? Let's see here. 26 to 12. I'm going to need some more ships. All right, time to recruit more ships again. Let's go over to my macro builder that I love so much. And we're going to build some more ships. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more ships. We'll add that over to my fleet. I want to use that to try to block the Aeolians. The Aeolians. I want to go catch these guys right now. I think that would be great to go destroy this army of 11,000 men. Oh, they're quick. Okay. They're just moving quickly. All right. I got you. We're coming over here. You'll stay here. You'll come over here. Turn around. We got a few of you nearby. Let's go ahead and bring in you two over here where we can get some battling in. We've got a fleet of 38 right now. That's going to blockade them. The aliens are moving elsewhere. I see that now. They're trying to retake some lands. I see that too. I want to hire these mercenaries. It's going to cost me a bit, but let's go get them. All right. Don't go that way. I'm going to have you I'm going to have you do a full retreat. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's go over here. It's 29k. I'm going to bring down these mercenaries. I'm going to use these 29k to help me fight on that northern front. Hopefully, we can fend them off. That would be amazing. That's 29,000 men, so that should be a decent amount now that I finally have mercenaries. All right, we've beaten them here. Let's go take other locations now. Edis, I'm still working on you. There's still plenty of lands up here. I'm going to send 14k out to go over there just to take that location. Just for the hell of it. It's loyal. I don't care. So now I'm fighting Thrace as well. I did not expect that. That's a very large fight. All right, we took that location. Let's go after a few more. I'm going to send you over here and you over here. We're getting so many slaves, too. We're getting so many slaves. A new... Oh, yeah. Keep up my Disciple of Ares, man. We need that. I don't care how tired you think you are of all my wars. I'm going to have more wars and more after that. Their fleet is at set, uh, 18. 18. But if you look at it, they're trapped now. They can't get out. I have 38 ships total. Screw you guys. I'm not going home. I'm going to send out the 12 for now. They're going to come over here. They're going to rebuild a little bit. All right, I've got 29,000 men. We need to put them in a decent location. Okay, right over here. Larissa will work. We won the Siege of Nita, so now I have 18,000 men who are freed up. I could use them wherever I want. I could go after little islands. I, I could do whatever. I could do whatever I want with them. Let's go over here now. You'll come over here. You'll come over here now. We're just going to take over a few locations. If we need to move back, we will, but for now, that'll work out. You two will move over there. We're going to go with back down to three speed because we've got a lot of enemies up north that I'm trying to watch out for. I'm trying to, anyway. Come over here. 
my army of 17,000 is going to move up. I hope that I haven't blocked. I think I might have blocked. Well, no, they can move further up north if they needed to. Bithynia could do that. Papalonia is currently getting the crap being out of them. Phrygia, I don't know what Phrygia is doing, but if I keep on fighting, I feel like they're going to fall apart. They're fighting Parnia. Parnia, I don't know if they're winning the war, but Parnia hopefully is doing some damage to them. I ho hope they're doing some damage to them. I don't even know why they're fighting. That's a really weird one. Anyway, I'm going to move out these ships over here or somewhere over here. Oh, okay. Just get all of you to go together right there. 27k men. We're going to have that army go after the Thracians. I know they want to move in. I'm glad I have all these forts. All these forts will help a lot. I've got all this manpower, so it's actually kind of cool that we're fighting a true and proper war for once. And I actually built up my military. <laughs> I finally did it. I was like, yeah, I don't want to do it. But today I'm like, oh, okay, why not? Let's go bring out these guys to go take out little islands. Like over here, the Aegean Islands, we can take those. They've got 6,000 men right by me. That's hilarious. I'll go kill them. How many heavy? Oh, no heavy at all. We have so many men around us, but we're going to kill them all. I'm paying them a decent amount. What do you have? Okay, you got a little bit. We're having to replenish. We're actually gaining more than we're losing currently. That, that, that'll change eventually. We all know that will change one day, but for now, it's working out. Let's try to go get the capital of the Aeolians, the Aeolians over here. All right, you're moving. I've got more men marching out now. They're just taking everything that they can. We've won that siege battle. Good freaking job. I really want to go after their capital, so let's just go bring in a lot of soldiers now. I would love to go after their capital right freaking now. I just want to dive bomb them, man. I just want to freaking come out of nowhere and just throw them through the iron cage and just go, Whoa! and just scream at them the whole time. All right, my 28K will come in later. I don't know where they're going, but I'm going to go get them once my leadership is back up with my 12 freaking... Oh, hello. Oh, wrong. Here we go. How do you go grab you guys? There we go. Now we can go into battle. Let's go kill all these pockets of men. They lost 2,000 men. They have many who are trying to come at me. That's another 2,000 that are coming at me. I have built all these roads. I can move so quickly right now if I want to. I'm going to keep on conquering up north a little bit. I think they're a little bit disconnected. So it's a very interesting war where I planned out my war front to where they can't even move into my lands right now. They're just done. That's another 1,000 gone. That's another 1,000 gone. Another 2,000 men dead. Water pumps for freemen. Okay. My ships again. National man. Nope. I want Omen power for once. A little bit more Omen power. I wonder if it increases it like on the next month or on the next blessing. I have no idea, but either way, Omen power is now up. We're going after the capital of the Aeolians. I don't know what's going to happen with that army of 24,000. They haven't really done too much. I don't believe. Let's build up my fleet again. It's 15 ships. We want more. I want more. And we have another island under my control. Very nice work. Let's go to Paros now. We'll go take every island here. Then I'll come over here and take that one, Aegina. It's 20k over here. We've got a pretty divided enemy, I think. I'll send out my new fleet to help out right now. Let's go send them out over here where they can go stop anyone from crossing. That's really my big goal now is to divide up my foes. All right, you're still waiting for your leadership. Shoot. Oh, God, it's 24k, too. They're right by us. Nope, we won't win. Dang it. If I do that, we'll recover much faster, and you need to, so do that right now. Rally, rally, rally. All right, so they have 24K men over there. Even if they win anything, they won't be able to win the Great War, so whatever they take, whatever they break, I'm still gonna be able to do more to them than they can do to me. I'm gonna go knock out the Aeolians as quickly as I can, so we're, that's what we're doing now. We're actually trying to dive bomb on them because they can't get any help. They divided up their forces. So now I can do whatever I want. These will move down here. We'll keep on moving up north. 
All right, that's over. Another slave. We're getting a lot of slaves because of our efforts. Okay, we're over here too. Oh, I've got more ships on the way? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, well, that's good. Thracians won't build a move. Whispers in the dark. What's up? You'll gain more loyalty. Good. Maybe he'll leave me alone. We'll see. 24k, huh? If I move in, that should be able to help out. If I did 3,000 over here. Oh, God. I don't even know who's going to win that one. My goal is just to delay for now. All right, come over here. Take that island as well. All right, we took 19k. We took that location. Let's go over here now. We're still taking our capital. I'm so glad the bigger faction didn't actually jump into the war. That worked out so much better for me than I ever thought it would, which is amazing. All right, so we're winning multiple sieges. I've got this divided up war front. I'm actually fighting on two sides right now. I've got a large mercenary army coming to fight. I'm glad I have all this money. I saved up int intentionally so I could win these fights. Here we go now. It's very likely that we will win. That plot is now over. We're now fighting a major battle. My God. Thank you, mercenaries. They're losing a lot more than I am. I'm still losing some, sure, but we outnumbered them heavily. Now they are done. We killed thousands of their men. Oh, they're so gone. They lost over 7,000 men, so I won that battle. I come over here, try to reform a little bit. All right, all of you, come back. I'm going to come back and just cancel a few ships real quick. Hold on, I don't need you two. And I have you four come on out. One out over here. We'll have 19 total. They hired more mercenaries. Oh, dear God. We took that location. I'd be shocked if they could, like, sell over here. I doubt they can, but we'll see. I'm trying to hire more men. We'll see how that plays out, too. Let's see. I'm going to bring out this ship. I'm going to keep on attacking other locations to the east. I'm not going to conquer everything, but I will try to divide up their power if I can. Let's keep on moving. That's 14k men. I'm still going to... I'm going to send out... 20k down over here. I, oh, no, no. I need a ship. Okay. I need some ships for that. I'm going to bring down my fleet later. Those mercenaries are really going to help out a lot. All right. So while I'm doing that, let's go bring in you guys over here to go take more islands. These are little baby islands. I don't actually need that many men. Uh, let's leave for now. We're going to have to leave for now, I think. I'm going to have to build a bigger fleet, but, uh, thank you, forts. These forts were well-planned. Let's go look at their men. Oh, yeah, they've got a lot of men still. 19 ships total. Hey, man, I'm the one taking it over. I'm already winning. They're already on medium. Grace is very high in their desire to stay in the war. I could probably knock out, well, I can knock out, not Nita's, because they're part of their faction. I can knock out, what about Aeolia? Oh, you're a subject too, so never mind. Pizza Coast, what about you? I doubt it. I wonder if Thrace would like to just kind of get out the war. Interesting. So I could demand from them, and they would take it. If I do that, then they're done with, and they won't be able to fight in the war. Oh, that would be awesome. Interesting. Hold on. Let's go talk to Thrace real quick. Because you've got your own... S oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh, wait, wait. No, I was talking to Phrygia. My my bad. My bad. 564 of next year. So I've got to last a little bit longer. And hopefully kill a few more. It's unclear which side will win. Really? Unclear, huh? the bottleneck I really thought you guys would have it a little bit more clear but if you can just beat them away that would be amazing okay let's go look at what's happening over here now I've taken not their capital but I'm pretty close to it I'm gonna need that fleet back soon let's get you guys over here to go take this area for me and I'll probably send your army over here to help me out okay it looks like we are winning ish they don't have any major help. If they did, I would be in big trouble. I'm going to lose a lot from that one. I'm going to need a lot of men. But we did win that battle. Good, good, good. I had a feeling through sheer numbers alone we would win that battle. We killed over 4,000 of their troops. 
that battle. Now we can move back down to Larissa and hold on. All right, you want what now? Yeah, take this goods. Kiss the coast, I'm gonna come kill you too, don't worry. Mercenaries, go kill them. They won't be able to do diddly squat. Okay, my army of 20K, I want them to move in. Let's go look on the Eastern Front where we can see that we're just still sweeping over so many of our lands. Take that one too. Aeolia is still doing their own thing. Who are you fighting anyway? You're fighting only the Pontine Revolt. Oh, there's a Pontine Revolt. Interesting. Yeah. Egypt lost a lot. They lost a lot. Kesha's still alive. Let's see. Judea has how many men? 35 cohorts? Oh my god. Go, Judea. Moses had his people come back across the Red Sea and they're like, you know what? We're gonna conquer you now. How about that? That's pretty funny. That's actually really, really funny. I love it. I could hire more mercenaries if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I think we might be okay. I wanted to knock Thrace out, but I won't be happening right now. But for now, we're gonna call it here and we'll continue our war tomorrow. It's actually a war long enough for two parts. Leave a like and comment right down below. Look forward to more tomorrow and until then,